Okay. Welcome to another edition of Conversation with the Socialist. I'm here with Ronnie Heenley, uh, Heenley, as you can see on the screen. Uh, we had decided to do like a podcast type pattern since both of our um, cameras seem not to be working, but audio apparently can work. Are you there with me? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So you are running for Senate. Is that right? The state or federal Senate? Or am I wrong about that? Uh, federal. Federal. Okay. So let's see. I, <laughs> I, 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 a lot of these green members that I, I've been interviewing, uh, sometimes I look on YouTube and I try to see if they've done any interviews so I can learn more about them. I couldn't find anything on you about that, but I did go to your uh, crowdpack.com ca uh, campaign. And um, well, let's see, if you want to donate to uh, Mr. He uh, Henley, is it Henley or Henley, I'm sorry? Is it Mr. Henley? Uh, it's Henley, A-G-N-L-Y. Okay, well, if you want to, uh, if you want to donate to, uh, to Mr. Uh, Henley, um, you can go to crowdpack.com slash campaign. Uh, and on the on the website, uh, it says that he uh, he announced as a senator uh, bid for November third, uh, and U.S. Senator uh, economic support, federal job uh, guarantee, raising minimum wage, implement universal basic income, passage of three trillion dollar stimulus, five hundred dollar rebates for every ch citizen, one hundred ten thousand dollars for retirement, legalized marijuana, invest in welfare reform. Establish a universal basic income where individuals will have to will have at least two thousand dollars a month uh, dollars monthly. It's optional. Uh, a single person whose monthly income is over not over thirty five hundred dollars will receive three hundred dollars food stamps per person, and a couple whose monthly income is not over seven thousand dollars will receive three hundred dollars uh, food stamps per person. On uh, on case will not count not count rent as in income. Plus, people will have more choices on WIC benefits up until kids are five years old. Simplifying tax code short form with easy to understand instructions. Um, lower corporate tax to 15%. $2 trillion to, is to re revitalize an infrastructure proposed by Donald Trump. So are you a Donald Trump, um, a Donald Trump type brain? Uh, no, I'm not really a Donald Trump supporter. Uh, here a while back, he suggested uh, a $2 trillion infrastructure uh, bill. Uh, but some of the language in it's flawed. Oh. And I would go about it in a different way. Oh, I see. Well, uh, I mean, uh, let's see. De okay, uh, deficit raised de debt ceiling at, to, uh, at $30 trillion. Implement PAYGO is a balanced budget education support voucher program for private public charters, excuse me, uh, schools and also homeschooling, free college uh, slash university's tuition, 0% interest student loans for rent, uh, utilities, food, clothes, school supplies, including books, Calculators, computers, transportation, teachers earn uh, earn up under nat uh, national average while salaries raised 21.5 percent. Healthcare and unified Medicare uh, slash Medicaid add additional funding for no mandate, non cost without copays. Don't discriminate due to pre existing conditions to your own physicians with full. Coverage includes physical, mental, vision, dental rehab, uh, rehab prescriptions, uh, hearing aids, transportation, immigration, opposed uh, travel bans, um, and border walls can save over $25 billion in, uh, in force deferred action for childhood arrivals, implement deferred action for uh, parents of Americans uh, proposed by Barack Obama, secure southern borders with advanced. Now, all this I'm just reading off here. Um, of your uh, crowdpack.com um, website. Um, what, in, what inspired you to get uh, to go for uh, this office? Uh, well, um, I've been interested in politics since uh, 2000. 
and I've been getting involved since 2007 uh, if it is a political activist or a candidate uh, for some public office. And I relate with people and I just want to make it better for everybody. Okay. Uh, did you help anybody's uh, campaign at all? That's that again. I said, did you uh, help anybody's campaign, like volunteer, go door to door, get uh, signatures, stuff of that nature? Uh, yeah, I personally collect the signatures myself uh, for my campaign. Okay, and, but, uh, you, but you haven't helped anybody else's campaign in regards to that kind of volunteering? Uh, no, not currently. Okay. Uh, well, are you working with anybody else that may be running in Tennessee? I mean, uh, not as right now. Not as of right now. Okay. Uh, well, how how's your campaign going as far as like donations? I mean, are you uh, having some uh, relief in regards to that, or not that much? Maybe you haven't, you haven't been in um, running for that long. It seems. Um, well, uh, this would make the fourth time that I ran for office. Uh, this is the first time for U.S. Senate. Uh, when it comes to donations, we got a few, and, uh, but we still need a lot more. Um, I was, uh, quoted some reasonable rates on some, uh, uh, campaigning tools that uh, where we want to have to have a, a high goal and uh, currently we need to raise uh, $1,900 soon. Okay, uh, it seems like on your campaign it does have um, uh, like $1, $5, $30, Another thirty dollar. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my my fault. Uh, I I apologize. But it's, uh, thirty dollars receive uh, a yard sign. Uh, thirty dollars receive uh, to receive a, a vote. Wait. Okay, you have a couple on your website that, that say the same thing. I'm just realizing. Uh, yes. Anyway, uh, so uh, but uh, have you been endorsed by anybody? Uh, yes, I've been uh, endorsed by the Green Party of Tennessee and Moms to Ban Action uh, for Gun Sense uh, in America. And uh, what 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 is your uh, opinion on gun ownership uh, stuff of that nature? Uh, what, what is your what what is your policy on that? Well, I do support the Second Amendment, but we need some uh, gun control policies in place. Uh, we have to go by the red flag laws, uh, ban all assault weapons, and uh, have universal background checks and you have to be at least 21 and have a permit. And uh, clips could only be limited to 10 rounds. Okay. Uh, that's, I mean, uh, all, that is useful in, in your area or in your district? Uh, yes. Okay, so I mean, that would be for hunting and, uh, and uh, protection, right? Yes. Okay. I, I, I apologize. I've, I've almost never been down to Tennessee, so I don't know what the overall um, uh, landscape, I guess uh, you can call, uh, looks like or seems like, you know, that kind of thing. Life is down there. That's why I'm asking these questions. So I can better understand and maybe uh, whomever is watching or listening to this will better understand if they don't live down in that area anyway, uh, either. Um, where, uh, what uh, district in Tennessee uh, do you live in? 
Well, uh, the U.S. Senate race, it's a statewide race. Oh, okay. Uh, but I live in the 8th uh, Congressional District. Okay. Uh, who are your opponents? Uh, well, the main ones is uh, the Republican candidate, uh, Bill Haggerty, and the Democratic candidate, uh, Marquita Bradshaw. And there are a few independents running as well. No, I see. So it's, it's a multi-person race, it sounds like. Yeah, uh, about 10 or 11 candidates all together. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a few. I, are there any progressives or any of that sort? Um, well, the Democratic candidate, she seems like she uh, uh, values progressive ideas. Uh, so it sounds like you're not uh, backed by any big corporations, uh, no big special interests are backing you at all, right? No, I'm not, and I wouldn't accept it if they did. Okay, well, that, well, that, that, that makes you a grassroots campaign, or well, at least one of a few, I think, criteria to go for that. Um, what, are, what were the other offices you went for? Well, um, I ran for Milan, Tennessee mayor in 2007 and also in 2011. Mm. And I ran for state representative uh, in a special election uh, 2019. And now I'm currently running for U.S. Senate. Mm. Uh, and are you getting any help with uh, uh, from uh, other Green Party members or uh, I mean, not the organization itself other than getting the, the endorsement? Uh, well, yeah, I got their endorsement and uh, some of the members have donated to the campaign and uh, and some of them have set up like uh, Zoom meetings for me. Uh, yeah. And uh, helping get the message out. All right, on. Uh, now I, I didn't see. Uh, now you are you for uh, Medicare for all? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, are you for? Uh, well, you. I look like you were for UBI. Uh, it looks like. Uh, you yes, are, I am. Good. You say yes, you are. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, it says that uh, that. Well, let me kind of repeat a little bit uh, what, what this says. Uh, when did you guys put up the, uh, the crowdpack.com um, uh, website? Uh, what's that again? I said, when did you put it up? That, uh, probably back in 2018. Oh, okay. So it's been, so it's been up for or quite a bit, okay. Because I'm sharing it right now. I'm just wanting to yeah, make sure. I'm sorry, I think we're stepping on each other's toes here. Uh, what, what were you saying? Uh, yeah, I've been on CrowdPack for over two years. Hmm. Hmm. So like, it looks like a website I wouldn't mind trying at one point in time, but anyway. Um, yeah, I've actually, I, I have seen uh, your profile uh, on uh, Facebook quite a few times, and I actually had a slight interest in, um, in uh, talking to you because I, I remember seeing maybe years ago that you're a candidate for the Green Party, uh, or maybe it was independent, one of the two, uh, for, for in Tennessee, but I, I hadn't gotten this, um, I, hadn't, I hadn't gotten my identity, if you will, uh, like, sort it out, so I I, I I didn't feel comfortable in uh, trying to get a hold of you. I don't think uh, I don't think I I don't think I even attempted to do that until recently, actually. And uh, actually, my fiance uh, saw your picture and, uh, and told me maybe maybe I should get a hold of you and see if we want we want an interview or uh, have a conversation with the socials as a, as it were. Uh, let's see. Now. Uh, mm. So you ran, it sounds like four other times. 
uh, what do you think your chances are uh, this this go around? Uh, well, I believe everybody has a chance of winning. Uh, when it comes to the corporations, the uh, special interests are up against the light. Uh, but having to depend on a grassroots movement. Uh, just hoping that people will uh, wake up and uh, carry us to victory. Hmm. Uh, have you? Have you? Uh, how many Zoom conferences have you been? Uh, Zoom interviews have you done? Uh, this would probably be the fourth one. A oh, fourth one. Okay. I mean, I'm I, I'm I'm glad you're you're getting the experience as part of the program with um. Uh, I know getting out there uh, might, might might seem um, hard these days, regardless of COVID and all that stuff. That's why I'm asking. Uh, do you plan on? Are you planning on doing any events? Any um, like limited uh, uh, admission type events? Um, no, and the reason for that is. I'm having some uh, transportation issues, and then, of course, there's the threat of uh, COVID-19. I would like to, but I'm not really able to, so mostly I uh, have to depend on uh, social uh, media to get the message out. Okay. Uh, well, uh, when I do interviews, I uh, I'm very um, hyper shareable. If if you uh, understand what that means, um, I share a lot because uh, it not only helps myself but also helps the person I interview. So uh, what I suggest is I don't know if you've done this or thought about doing this yet, but a a um, a uh, a uh, Facebook Live. Uh, and inviting as many people as you can, uh, all your friends uh, to to that, and have them invite their friends over and kind of like a watch party of sorts uh, to watch you. An invitation thing? Uh, yes, I had a couple of Facebook lives. Uh, have you? Uh, did that go well? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we got a few views, uh, just on a couple of them. Uh, what it is, uh, that I recap, uh, on a topic or issue, uh, or brother yet recap of all of them that somebody submitted, uh, between Monday and Thursday. And then I, uh, do the Facebook live Friday. Hmm. Uh, do you have a campaign manager? Uh, no. I pretty much run the whole campaign by myself. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, uh, what I will do uh, overall is, um, uh, since my interviews uh, are about uh, thirty minutes, and we don't have a uh, a we don't have anybody that's going to be coming in or anything as far as you know, audience wise. What I will do is after we uh, uh, end the interview, um, I'll, uh, I'll, as I said, I'll share. Then maybe uh, you can let me know when the next live is if, if you want to schedule one. And then I can share that with everybody. I'll like tune into this part, you know, tune, tune into Ronnie uh, this day, you know, uh, listen to what he has to say and stuff of that nature. How's that? Mm, that would be fine. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it's been it, it's been almost a half hour, and uh, that's yeah. I'm I'm starting I'm starting to get the the, the warning signs from uh, from Zoom to uh, end it, so I, I better end it. Uh, thank you for being on a uh, um, conversation with a socialist. I look forward to uh, catching up with you, uh, say a month or so, and seeing how things are there. And um, yes, yeah, thank you for thank you for joining me. Okay, thank you.
I hope you have a good day. I wish you luck between now and the time we, we talk to you, we talk again. And um, uh, once again, to everybody who's listening and, and or watching, uh, go to crowdpack.com. Uh, let's see. Ah. <laughs> as, well, as well as you thought you had it, but you don't. That's what I think. So go to uh, crowdpack.com slash campaign. Uh, Ron, uh, Ronnie, uh, Maya Sign Henley. And donate uh, you can, uh, one dollar, thirty dollars uh, by a, uh, a yard sign, uh, whatever the website has um, as a good buy. So um, thanks for being here, and uh, I look forward to talking to you another time. I say good luck, and uh, I will do um, I will do my best in regards to promoting you. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.